Okay, I'm, I'm Fernando Caudevilla, I'm a family physician, I'm a doctor. I work in a primary care center and on the other part of my time <coughs> I work in different activities related to harm reduction and drugs. I belong to Energy Control, it's a Spanish NGO where we, go, we, uh, we work with uh, harm reduction in recreational drug use. We have our uh, drug testing service and well, my, my role has been uh, giving advice users uh, with, aspects, as, with aspects related to health and drugs. Okay, I think uh, uh, deep web is like, like internet in the 90s, is uh, uh, internet with a freedom of speech, with a whole freedom of speech and with a whole uh, space for liberty, with all the good things and all the bad things that it has, okay. I think the deep, deep web marketplaces are one of the most important things that have happened in the, in the last century in relation with, with, with drugs. And I, I think they are opportunity uh, for, for, for investigation, for research, to know what is happening, but also for interve <coughs> with intervention with users and with vendors. Uh, you can, guide, you can give advice uh, users uh, information they, and, and m many times they prefer to ask to a doctor that they don't know in the real world instead of asking to a real person that, uh, that I think that's, that is uh, uh, a sign of, 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 of how badly are we managing the, the drug questions. Okay? Uh, people are more confident in someone who is in internet than in his doctor. And people want to know things about drugs. Drug users are not necessarily responsible. They are normal people and they, and they need information that is useful for their health. Well, if, if you are a drug user and you, and you, and you want to buy drugs, uh, I think that deep web uh, has some advantages. Okay? Uh, you don't, you don't need to get contact with criminal, uh, uh, with criminal activities. Uh, you don't go to, to go to some place strange and to, to meet someone, to, to be related with, with criminal organizations. And uh, you have access to a wide variety of products at affordable rates. And then you receive it in your mail, I mean, in your mailbox, I mean, receiving letters, uh, is exciting uh, uh, again. These are the positive aspects, <coughs> but uh, uh, in general, purities are better in deep web than in uh, normal than the streets. But uh, they are not perfect. Uh, they are not perfect. I mean, it's, it's not a, regula a regulated market. It's a semi-regulation. Uh, uh, it's some kind of regulation better than the streets, but worse than a re real regulation. that you have confidentiality and, uh, and that it's easier the access to drugs. I don't mean it's nece this is necessar necessarily good, okay? Uh, but this is re the reality. Uh, you can buy a lot of, dif of different things. Uh, you can buy cannabis or you can buy synthetic cannabinoids, okay? Uh, what is better, okay? So uh, I think uh, here it's important to give the objective information, for example. Uh, cannabis has been used for 8,000 years. We know the, the effects, the properties, but not synthetic cannabinoids, okay? They, they are experimental uh, molecules. And people that are using these uh, drugs are really playing to guinea pigs, okay? But this is the same message we have been doing 40 years. If you take drugs, you will get mad, you will get crazy. So if we don't give people the real information, they can't make the difference between things that, are, that they are very dangerous from than other that, that they are not so. The limitations are that there uh, are vi virtual spaces, uh, so you, uh, you, can, you cannot do the same things that you do in real world, uh, for good and for, for, um, and for bad, I mean, you, you don't have direct contact with, with the vendor, uh, but uh, you cannot directly control the, the product. Uh, 
I say even though uh, having a wide access to highly addictive substances or to very new substances, is it, it is not necessarily good. Okay? It's an, the thing is, it's real, it's here to stay. Uh, and the, the answer must be different that, than just try to shut it down because uh, all the war on drugs has been a failure and I think uh, this is the, the latest example than, uh, than, than war on drugs. War on drugs is over. I, I, I was working in some forums of, of Deep Web uh, during three years and I gave information to users and it, and it worked really, really good. And I had to finish it because it was a very, very heavy uh, load of work. Uh, and, and <clears throat> but if users don't go where the professionals are, it is as the professionals who must go where users uh, are. No? On the other hand, in, with uh, energy control, we are developing an international system, uh, te drug, drug test system, uh, so users can uh, control the, take control of the substances they are taking or they have bought. And uh, I think that these strategies of, of information and uh, and uh, and drug testing are are good strategies. Are also contact with uh, vendors, administrators uh, to uh, to promote uh, uh, safer activities, okay, or, so, or, or safer uh, ways of of use. Okay. Uh, for example, we tested this this summer. Uh, we tested some uh, Superman pills containing PMMA. Uh, and uh, the month before, there were maybe. 20 vendors selling, <coughs> selling a, a pill similar to this and they disappeared after we launched the alarm. I don't know if it was a direct intervention of vendors or administrators or whatever, or users, but uh, I think uh, that controlled spaces are better than non-controlled spaces and Deep Web is a semi-controlled space.